What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys how to pull live cryptocurrency prices into Excel so you can track your returns, build the dashboard, or I guess whatever else you want to do. So I'm in Windows 11, so I have the latest version of Excel open here. Uh, <coughs> so we are going to use an API aggregator, uh, which is a website here. We're going to use Financial Modeling Prep. Uh, there's other websites out there. This is the one that I like the most. You get a whole bunch of... Uh, whole bunch of options for data you want to pull in. They give you all these APIs for free. Uh, and if you want to pay for it, you get more API calls. And I think you also unlock more data. But for the purpose of this demonstration, we're just going to use the free one. So I'll leave the link in the description. You're just going to travel over to this website. We're going to come on to the developers tab up here. I'll zoom in a little bit. API docs, API documentation, uh, and then you get all this free stuff. So you get uh, all the Edgar filing, so anything that's been filed through the SEC uh, from a public company is here. So you can actually do a lot with these APIs in Excel or Power BI or even Python. Um, but we're just going to be doing crypto here. So let's type in crypto. Uh, we'll just go to crypto price. So if we click on uh, crypto quotes, it's going to show us. Oh, I guess I need to have a I need to have a key. One sec. All right, I had to sign in. So uh, if you click on crypto, as I was as I was saying, is it'll, it'll show you every single uh, available cryptocurrency here that they have in their system. Scroll bar is really long. Uh, we can type in something if we want to see if it exists. Uh, so I'll type in Cardano, and there it is. So the symbol is ADA USD, so it's the ticker symbol, I guess, uh, for the for the cryptocurrency, and it's ADA to USD, and the price is a dollar and fourteen cents. It's pretty cheap. Good time to buy. Just kidding. This is not financial advice. So uh, we are going to go to single cryptocurrency. This is what we want to use in Excel, and we can pull a single one in. Um, by default, it pulls up Bitcoin to USD. Uh, so what we're going to do is just change the URL. And if you're unfamiliar with how APIs uh, work, there is a bunch of URL variables that pretty much tell the system what you're trying to pull. Uh, so here we're looking at quote is BTC to USD. So if you want to pull uh, ADA to USD, you would just type in ADA USD and hit enter. And then it would actually pull that. It would pull Cardano. Uh, we can also do, say, Ethereum to USD, and there it is. So today the price is $3,000, or $3,034. Um, so let's let's do this. Let's let's pull this in. I'm going to grab the whole link. I'm going to hop back over to Excel. Now in Excel, um, you can actually pull in data from the web. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to come to the Data tab at the top. We're going to get data. We're going to get it from the web. So we click on From Web. We put in the URL, we press OK. So it's connecting to that website, um, and that is in JSON format, uh, the website that we're connecting to. So Power Query can easily recognize it as a table. So once this actually loads, are we loading here? Um, it's a little it's a little funky but that's okay so this is what it looks like uh, when you pull it in we're gonna click this button we're just gonna con convert this list to a table uh, and that just makes it a whole lot easier to work with so hit OK uh, and then we're just gonna expand it you get to pick all those fields here that you actually want to show in this table we are gonna choose let's just choose name uh, how about market cap is, is fun. Is there like a price? There it is, price. <clears throat> Use original column name as prefix. I just don't do that because then it's going to say column one, blah, 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 column two. All right, we have a table here. Um, let's, let's go ahead and load that then. So we'll close and load. We'll close and load to a specific location so we can actually pick. Not a new worksheet. Let's let's use the existing worksheet. We'll put it right in the top. And yes, as a table. And then when you load it in, 
we now have an established connection to the web and you know you can change the the format if you want to simplify that a little bit but here we go so this is ethereum we can actually you know label this fields like f eth price and now if you type in eth price we have that price uh, so you can actually set up your settings on your query if you want it to refresh say every single time you open this file uh, you can have it on a set timer or you can just do it manually by hitting right click and refresh uh, and then you know you can pull in more tables for different cryptocurrencies so then separately you know when you want to actually build your dashboard out you can say like you know you just pop in like price paid Sorry if you guys hear my baby in the background. Price paid, we'll say it's like $4,000. And then price now would be ETH price. Let's format those. You know, you'll know that if you bought a full coin, obviously this is uh, extremely simple just for the purpose of this demonstration, but you'll know that, um, actually I guess this is backwards here, but you know that you're down $966. Uh, so yeah, that's the super simple version. You can do a whole lot with that API aggregator. If you have any questions, uh, throw it in the comments below and I'll, I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks.